One of the shootings took place right here on the 600 block of Broadway. Police say on Saturday they found a man on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound. The unidentified male was taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead. Unfortunately, this was just one of the many shootings that took place this weekend. I don't, I don't feel safe nowhere. I mean, it's crime everywhere. It's, it's, it's killings all day, every day on the news. The weekend of violence began Friday morning when police got reports of a hit and run on the 500 block of North Payson Street. But instead of finding a hit and run victim, they found a 44 year old man who'd been shot. Police say he died at an area hospital. The crime has become an ongoing trend that some people aren't surprised anymore when they hear about it. Not to say I'm conditioned to it, but growing up in East Baltimore, well, Baltimore in general all my life, you kind of like used to it. It just makes it a little unsafer to walk the streets. Gun violence is also impacting young people as a 14 year old was found on the 4000 block of Erdman Avenue suffering from a gunshot wound in the left hip. He's expected to survive, but residents wonder when the violence will stop. I just want a future for my grandson. We, you can't really go nowhere without crime really happening. I think they should put more officers on the force. They should crack down on, you know, like the drug selling. So far, police haven't made any arrests yet, but for information on all the shootings that took place this weekend, head to our website, WMAR2news.com. Reporting in Baltimore, Nordea Lewis, WMAR 2 News.